Hi friends, Allie here. In today's tutorial, we are gonna be making the Easy Breezy Ribbed Beanie. This is my best selling pattern on Etsy, so I'm so excited to be sharing a free pattern and video tutorial with you guys today. What makes this beanie so great is that it's beginner friendly and uses basic crochet stitches and is easy construction. Basically, we're just gonna make a long rectangle, fold it over, seam up the side, and cinch up the top. This pattern includes instructions for eight sizes, but you can easily adjust it to make it any size. The chain length will determine the height of your hat and the number of rows will determine the width of your hat. Like I said, you can easily adjust it. If you are gonna adjust the height of the hat, just keep in mind that we have a fold over brim. So on each hat, it is approximately two and a half inches tall. So your hat may look extra long while you're making it, but then you have that fold over brim. So if you're gonna adjust the height at all, just keep in mind that you want extra length for your brim. I'm gonna put up the sizes on the screen here. So as you can see, we have all of the sizes, how many chains you're gonna to need to make to get the height that you need, how many stitches are gonna be in each row, and how many rows you need to make to get your desired width. I'm gonna be making the adult medium in today's video, but you can follow along no matter what size you're making. Just make sure you remember how many stitches that you need and how many rows that you need to make to get the right size. So if you guys are ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and let's get making. For today's tutorial, you will need a medium four weight yarn, a 5.5 millimeter or eye hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. So we're gonna start off with a foundation chain. So I am making the adult medium size, so I'm going to chain 47, but make sure you check back at the chart at the beginning of the pattern to know how many chains to make for the size that you're making. So we're gonna start off with a slip knot, and then work your chain. Okay, so here is my foundation chain. And remember, you can adjust the length to be shorter or longer, and this is going to determine the height of your hat. So if you make it longer, you can have a longer or uh, wider brim, or you can make your hat more slouchy. Um, if you make it shorter, you'll have a smaller brim or a more fitted hat. So it's up to you. You can really chain as many or as few as you want, all depending on how um, tall you want your hat to be. So now we're moving on to row one. And for row one, we are going to work a half double crochet into the second chain from our hook. So here is the first chain from our hook and here is the second chain. So I'm going to work one half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then I'm going to work one half double crochet into each chain across. So I'm just coming up to the end of row one and this is what we're looking like. So your total stitch count for row one should be one less than what your foundation chain was. So my foundation chain was 47. So now my total stitch count for row one is 46 stitches. So now we're going to chain one and turn our work. And now the rest of the pattern is just going to stay the same. So for, from row two on, it is always going to be the same. And what we're gonna do is we're going to half double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch. So if we look at our stitches from above like this, you can see they make a little V shape. So the uh, strand that is closest to you is the front loop and the strand that is furthest away is the back loop. So we are going to half double crochet in the back loop only. So I'm going to half double crochet and only work around that back loop only. And that's going to create that ribbing that we'll get. So we're going to just repeat that all the way across. We're going to half double crochet in the back loop only 
in each stitch across for round or sorry row two and we're just going to repeat that all the way until we reach the end of our hat so half double crochet in the back loop only all the way across and then when we reach the end of row two, our stitch count is going to remain the same as row one. It's gonna remain the same for the rest of the pattern. And we're gonna chain one and turn our work, and then we're gonna repeat row two. Half double crochet in the back loop only, and each stitch across. And working in the back loop only is gonna give us that ribbing It just gives it a really nice texture, but it's really easy to do. So I'm just gonna keep going on. I'm gonna keep repeating. Row two, half double crochet in the back loop only. When you reach the end of the row, chain one and turn and repeat. And just check back at that chart at the beginning of the pattern to let you know how many rows to do the amount of rows you work is going to determine the width of the hat, so the circumference of it. So if you wanna make it smaller or larger to make it more snug or more loose, you can. So since I'm doing the adult medium, I am going to go to the end of row 46. So I'm just gonna carry on, and when I get to the end of row 46, I'm gonna catch up with you guys, and I will show you how to close up the hat. So just continue on repeating row two, half double crochet into hip back loop only in each stitch across. And I'm gonna catch up with you guys when I get to the last row. So I just finished the last row of my hat. So this is what it's looking like so far. It's just a long rectangle. So to finish it up, I'm gonna chain one and then I'm going to turn my work and then I'm gonna fold this over. So I'm gonna bring the two short ends together and so that now my working yarn is on the right hand side over here and that it's on top of that other piece. So we're just gonna fold it over like this and then we're going to attach our two shorter ends together. So to do so, we're gonna insert our hook into the uh, front loop only. So again, when we look at our stitches, we have the front loop facing us and then the back loop is the um, strand that's furthest away from us. So working in the front loop only, insert your hook and then going in to the back side here, we're going to be working into our foundation chain. So going into the very first one there, and we're gonna slip stitch these together. So work a slip stitch, and we're gonna do that all the way across. So in the last row that we worked, working in the front loop only, and then into our foundation chain, we're going to slip stitch. And just do that all the way across. Okay, and I just reached the last stitch. So now we just have this tube here. So now we have to close up the top. So I'm gonna tie off my yarn. So I'm gonna just chain one, grab my scissors, and I'm gonna cut off my yarn and I'm gonna leave quite a long tail. I think I'm gonna leave about 24 inches or so. There we go. So I'm just gonna take my hook and pull that yarn through. Okay, pull that tight. And now I'm gonna grab my yarn needle. And just thread that through. Okay, so this is gonna be the top of our hat. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna weave this tail end in and out 
around the top of the hat. You don't have to be too uh, you don't have to be too precise working in every single row, but I like to work in about every second row all the way across. So I'm just going to go in through the front to the back and then back through like this. So front to back and then back to front and I'm just going to continue doing that all the way around. Okay, so I'm back at the beginning again. So now I'm just going to take this tail end and pull it tight and that's going to cinch up the top of our hat. So pull it nice and tight, not so tight though that you um, rip your um, tail end there. So just pull it until you close up that hole. And then we're going to have to tie off our yarn. So I have this other tail end still here, so I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to tie these two ends together. If you don't have a tail end there, then you can just knot this to the top of the hat. So I'm going to tie that, making sure to keep it cinched at the top. Okay, and then you're going to want to weave in your ends. So right now, um, our ends are on the outside of our hat but we're gonna flip it inside out after so I'm gonna weave in my ends on this side okay so I have all of my ends weaved in so now I'm going to flip my hat inside out so now this is gonna be the outside of our hat. And then we're gonna fold up my brim. And your brim is gonna be about two to three inches tall. It all depends on the size of the head, the person who's wearing it. So you can just fold it up as much as you need. And there we go. There is our easy breezy ribbed beanie. Thank you so much for following along. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and be sure to tag me in your photos so I can see your finished creations. You can find this pattern and many more free patterns on my blog, whoshomemade.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.